Hey guys, Drifter here, and... Vicstar123. And we're bringing you some 25 and 5 TDM gameplay Tomahawk only from Vicstar. And unlike my Tomahawk only videos, uh, Vicstar actually only does Tomahawks. He doesn't believe in knifing. <laughs> That's right. Um, what I find that I use the tactical button layout, so I just find knifing impossible. I can drop shot, but I cannot knife. It's just too slow for me. Uh, you find that? Well, see, I don't use tactical layout. My controls haven't changed too much from normal. I just I bump the sensitivity up to three, and I play inverted. But the button scheme is the same, so knifing, knifing is incredibly easy for me. And if they're in my face, why would I, I risk a tomahawk when I can just stab them really quickly? Yeah, that's right. Um, and looking at, like, tomahawk-only gameplay... What do you think to kill streaks? There's been a big dilemma on my channel with that recently, and people saying that I shouldn't use um, lethal kill streaks. Well, see, um, that might have been something that I started. I don't know. Uh, if you're going to go tomahawk only, it seems kind of silly if you're calling in really huge kill streaks. Although it's really badass if you get something like attack dogs with just tomahawks. That's like a slap in the face. But I don't know. Uh, when I did the the search and destroy tomahawk video, which everybody kindly pointed out was mostly knives, uh, we used passive kill streaks like spy planes and blackbirds. But blackbirds make you really dangerous in this game. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm using in this game here. I'm using spy plane, counter spy plane, and blackbird. And I think when you're tomahawking, blackbird is just essential to ambush people. What do you think? Oh yeah, and uh, the, what's it called, the spy plane helps too, but it can do the opposite. I, I end up dying a lot just because I look at the radar instead of actually looking in front of my face, and that gets me messed up pretty bad. Yeah, that, that's quite interesting because actually it was a while oh ago. Oh my god, my... that was a beautiful shot. <laughs> yeah, a while ago one of my subscribers said to me that, that I shouldn't use counter spy plane because it takes people's eyes off the mini-map, and when I'm tomahawking I'm not coming up on the mini-map. So it kind of means they're more focused on their game. Uh, that's that's kind of true, because it does make them focus, but it also pisses people off. I don't know about you, but when my radar gets jammed, that really like irritates me and screws up the way I play. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Even if they weren't appearing on the radar, it's just annoying to see a staticky TV screen up there. See, look at you, you're trying to knife there, or maybe you're showing off, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but if you if you use a ballistics knife like I do, I, do I'm, I don't tomahawk only as much as I just do projectiles and stabbing, but the ballistics knife, stupidly enough, does to show up on the radar, as long as, and the crossbow does as well. Yeah, I mean, actually, yeah, I think on this game, my friend was playing some music down the mic, and so I'm kind of knifing about and just, like, messing about. I wasn't actually taking this seriously, which is quite funny. <laughs> well, you're doing quite good for somebody that's not taking it seriously. You're yeah. just saving that blackbird from when you die? Yep. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's where you're um, still whooping ass right now. <laughs> I mean, I always start off really well, but it's whether I can keep it going for the rest of the game that I find quite difficult. Uh, I know how you feel, or you ever get the the, the thing like your first, uh, you get smoked right in the beginning, and then you come back and do an amazing game, but it looks weird when you get butt hurt in the beginning. Yeah, it, you, it's just like the perfect game is where you're consistent, but it's it's quite rare. Yeah, the tomahawks are really see there you go dying again. They're really dangerous, but they're kind of they're kind of fickle. Oh, okay, Sorry, here's a good question for you. Here's a question I had for you. Right. When it comes to stuff like this, see, that's that's why I would knife close range. Exactly that. At close range, you should just be able to pop them, but if you added auto aim, people would abuse it. Anyway, uh, back to the question. Do you, whoa, what is oh, that? Oh, my like? God. What are you doing? Um, oh, uh, one second. I think he's being uh, invaded by space invaders right now, or perhaps his evil robot mother is attacking. I'm not entirely sure. It's definitely oh. affecting the gameplay here, too. Really sorry about that. Um. That's okay. It's not a big deal. But uh, when you're tomahawking, do you prefer people that sit still, or do you prefer moving targets? Um, I think I actually definitely um, prefer people sitting still, and a lot of the time I use concussions to get people still. See, I have the exact opposite problem when people sit still I'm, I'm, I'm miss like crazy because i keep expecting them to move and trying to predict where they're going to move i would much prefer somebody moving or moving fast to throw at because i don't know i'm just gonna i'm gonna screw up on the sitting still and when concussions i've been having this problem with concussion grenades I'll, I'll concuss them but they can still see me and they just hold down the trigger while i run around the corner or they can turn just enough to kill me but on the other hand flashbangs take so damn long to prime they're almost not worth throwing so i don't know what to do 
Yeah, that's. I mean, I I prefer concussion just because a still target I find much easier to take out. Because sometimes on longer distances, you really can't work out which way a person's going to go, and you can throw it at the complete opposite side of them. So yeah, yeah, well, the concussion grenades do work on that, but that's only in situations where you have multiple ways to go. If it's uh, more or less a straight uh, tunnel or turkey shoot, you can concuss them all day, and they're just going to spray bullets down it. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. I don't know. It's a uh, it's it's a tricky business. But what do you think about the new update? Let's let's get off tomahawks for a bit. Uh, the new update. Um, I do like the last stand thing, the where you can't get your kill stolen when you put someone into last stand. What yeah. do you think of that? That's that's great because I'm I'm sick of bitch ass teammates stealing my last stand kills and oftentimes I am the bitch ass teammate because I steal people's last stand kills and I don't feel bad about it at all. No, yeah, that's right. And the PSG one. PSG1 is good because you used to, they didn't patch it right last time, it used to only get its proper multipliers when it uh, had no attachments on it, and now you can put all sorts of scopes on it, and it's a, it's a much better gun now. I mean, do you try quick scoping, or are you a kind of traditional sat in the back of the building sniper? I'm a sit in the back of the building sniper, or as many of gamers would say, hard scoping faggot, because I don't believe <laughs> in quick scoping, because it's not. It, sniping is not supposed to be about quick scoping. You don't see people running around in Iraq just like, look, I'm quick scoping you. That's not how sniper rifles work. And there, that's true. But it kind of looks cool. It's almost in art. It's something you can do. Yeah, well, when it comes to look cool, I'm sticking with the Tomahawks here. Let this kid <laughs> stick with his AK. Yeah. I mean, talk about the AK, AK-74U. Um, how, how much do you think they've done to that, really? Because I can't tell. Not much. Really not much. There you are, 25 and 5, leading your team with tomahawks, and the other team is probably really butthurt. It's, uh, it's been nice talking to you, and uh, I'll catch you later.